Good morning. Today's going to be a bit of a race against the rain. This morning it looks very nice and sunny, and indeed it is, but about 15 minutes ago it was really, really foggy, and that was because yesterday the heavens opened and it was an absolutely dreadful day, cold, wet and miserable. I might as well have been in the UK, but we still cheered ourselves up. We sat in a bar and we watched the Giro d'Italia like proper Italian cyclists. Roberto. Ciao. <laughs> Where are we going today? Today we are going to conquer Montone, a very beautiful <laughs> village, very easy way and that's perfect, perfect condition. Bene. Benissimo. Ciao. <laughs> That's us out on the road. And the plan today, as Roberto said, is to ride to a place called Montone, which is 35 kilometers away. We've got one climb, which isn't too bad, 250 meters, two and a half kilometers maybe. And the rest is sort of undulating, but yeah, the big thing today is to outrun the rain. We've got um, a window of about four or five hours for us to do the 70 kilometer return trip before the rain starts. Hopefully though, we'll be back having our afternoon meal in La Fonarchi before that even happens. Seeing that field of poppies makes me really want a bar of chocolate or an attractive blonde girl or both. Yeah, I've done that joke already. Yeah, just recycling, being green. Roberto's doing a fantastic job of guiding us out today. We're just doing a nice leisurely ride down the valley with a, a sort of a speed of 25 kilometers an hour and if I were to do that on my own I would find that a little bit hard to maintain but because I'm fourth wheel back sitting on Neil and Enzo's wheel then uh, it's considerably easier very easy pace to maintain all day really Twenty kilometres in, and a quick little coffee stop before we cycle around the town of Umbertidi, and then head up to Montone. Um, if you see the, the name Umbertidi written down, uh, it looks a bit like Umbertide, which makes me think of Humberside. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of Yorkshire in the heart of Italy. Not really. And speaking of a little bit of Yorkshire in Italy, <laughs> we've yeah. got Gorg. You're from Leeds, aren't you, Gordon? I am, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What sort of cycling do you do up in Leeds? Well, it's uh, very varied. There's hills around Otley, uh, there's a lot of good cyclists, which is about 10 miles away, and then out towards the Vale of York, Tedcaster, it's fairly flat, and then North Yorkshire, of course, very, very hilly, as you know yourself. Yeah, you know, some 30 <laughs> percenters on yeah, there, isn't Yeah, towards the North York Moors and going towards Whitby and all that sort of thing. So it's very varied, you know, it's great, really. How does it compare to here? The hills are a bit harder, but they're much shorter, whereas here it's a steady intake. Uh, you get, a, you know, it goes on and on and on, and you just got to keep up a regular rhythm, I think. That seems to be the way to handle the ones here, for me at least. There's maybe hard ones that I haven't tried yet, but, you know, it's not too bad. <laughs> Finally on the climb up to Montoni, 2.7 kilometres, and climbing 100 and 56 meters, can't even begin to work out what average gradient that is. But we're getting there. 
just being overtaken by steam. Go for it, Steve. Go. This fun. Yeah. These are really nice, Joe. They're so fun. Yeah. Oh, Steve's like a tidal wave. He just keeps coming. Welcome to Montoni. That's the third time I've done that climb up to uh, up to the village here. Last time I was on an e-bike. Today I'm on a regular muscle bike, and um, I quite enjoyed that. It was tough, but um, yeah, it was good, and it was quite nice having that fun little ride up with Steve at the very end there. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> I usually get a lot of questions about the bike that I'm riding. So today uh, I'm riding the Lapierre Aircode DRS 6.0 and it's, it's essentially the, one of the higher bikes from Inspired Italy. So I've got the large framed one because they didn't have the medium one. Uh, and it's, it feels very, very comfortable. It feels a little more aggressive than I'm used to, but that could be something to do with the, uh, the handlebars being just a little bit lower. Um, and gear-wise, it uses the uh, Ultegra, uh, Shimano Ultegra, and the gear ratio is uh, 50-34 on the front and 11-32 on the back. Looks like the clouds are gathering a bit now. Um, it was bright sunshine when we were sat here in the square to begin with, and then 10, 15 minutes later, the, uh, the clouds are starting to bubble up and there's the chance of rain. I think I've already felt a couple of raindrops. So I think it's time to hit the road and head back to Lishano Nikoni. Probably not wise to ride up this narrow passage on the cobbles. Pardon? Are we going back in the front way? No, this is the valley road. Oh, is it? Yeah. Already. Oh. <laughs> well, we've made it back onto the valley road before the rain starts. Just another 45 minutes and we'll be back. But it's tough, as usual. There's a headwind just blowing straight down the valley, making it very, very difficult. Blimey, it is so much harder when you're on the front, on your own, in that full wind. It makes a hell of a difference to have a wheel to follow. I was trying to sit on Gordon and Kevin's wheels, but the elastic's just gone, just a little bit too tired now. Almost back to my time trial days there, sat on Cavern's wheel we were doing. 30, 31, 32 kilometers an hour along here. <sighs> yeah, again, the elastic just broke. Just gonna keep up with him. As you can probably see behind me, the uh, thunder clouds are gathering and uh, we can hear claps of thunder. So I think we've only just made it back in time uh, and beat the rain. We've stayed dry, we've had a good ride out. We've seen Montone, had a nice refreshment stop there. All in all, it's been a good day. So uh, 61 kilometers and 400 meters in the bank of fitness. Hear that? Yeah, so uh, I'm glad to be back.